The recent Russian invasion of Ukraine has shown the need for modern, smart munitions that can strike with precision and avoid collateral damage. Contrary to the Russian Aerospace Forces, which seems to lack such precision strike capabilities, the US military has plenty of smart bombs, and the Stormbreaker is one of them. During a war, bad weather and other physical obstructions in the battlefield are the biggest hindrances of fighter jets and bombers hitting the enemy. But with the Stormbreaker bomb, the US military will have the capability to easily target their opponents. In this video, we are going to take a closer look at the smart bomb and what it is capable of. Before we get started, if you do enjoy this video and would like to see more just like it, remember to give us a like and subscribe to our channel to get more sent straight to your notifications. It is a fact that a combat aircraft, no matter how superlative its performance, is only as fearsome as its weapons. The type, numbers, and capability of its armament indicates how effective it will be in overcoming aerial adversaries as well as in mounting lethal strikes against surface targets. And modern aerial weapons certainly give aircraft a formidable punch. Designers of weapons are constantly striving to reduce the size and weight of weapons and increase their effective range so as to make them more lethal, and they certainly got it spot on with the Stormbreaker. The Stormbreaker bomb, previously known as the Small Diameter Bomb 2 or SDB-2 bomb, has been developed by Raytheon Missiles in Defense for the US Air Force and the US Navy. Designed to address critical troop needs, the guided weapon can detect, track, and destroy stationary or moving targets with high precision and standoff range during the day and at night in all weather conditions. While the Air Force currently uses a laser-guided bomb called the GBU-54 able to destroy moving targets, the new SDB-2 will be able to do this at longer ranges. The SDB-2 Glide Weapon's maneuverable airframe and deployable wings provide an improved standoff range. It has three main features, tri-mode seeker head assembly, dual waveform, and a lethal warhead. The bomb measures 69 inches long, 6 inches in diameter, and 68 inches in wingspan, and weighs in at 204 pounds. As a result, aircraft can carry several Stormbreaker bombs. For example, the F-15E Strike Eagle 4th generation fighter jet can pack 7 clusters of 4 smart munitions each, making a grand total of 28 Stormbreaker bombs. The bomb operates in 4 attack modes, normal, coordinate, immediate, and laser illuminated. When operated in the normal attack mode, the weapon engages stationary and moving targets in all weather conditions, while the fixed targets can be engaged in the coordinate attack mode. The immediate attack mode allows engagement of close-in or pop-up opportunity targets and creates a predictable flight path. The laser illuminated attack mode is meant for hit-the-spot precision. The Stormbreaker is also fitted with a control actuation system, thermal battery, pop-up air turbine alternator, and a wing deployment driver. The onboard mission computer is used to interconnect and control the sensors and navigation systems. The multi-mode seeker, which is protected by a clamshell dome cover, has three operating modes, millimeter wave radar, uncooled imaging infrared, and semi-active laser sensor. The Seeker electronics are designed to reduce the effectiveness of countermeasures in various battlefield scenarios. The millimeter wave radar enables the bomb to quickly detect and track stationary or moving targets under all weather conditions. An essay once stated that cameras or lidars suffer in low visibility conditions and bad weather. Cameras also suffer at night in low light conditions, whereas millimeter wave radars offer more favorable characteristics due to their ability to work at night and penetrate through fog, snow, and dust. Thermal imaging can also decrease in effectiveness due to dense fog, the SA adds. The uncooled imaging infrared sensor offers enhanced discrimination and classification of targets, while the semi-active laser sensor provides the maximum operational flexibility of the weapon. The global positioning system and inertial measurement unit navigation device uses anti-jam GPS, which provides accurate positioning and high precision. Rockwell Collins's three-node, two-way networked data link provides in-flight target updates, in-flight retargeting, weapon status messages, and weapon abort. The multi-effects warhead offers lethality with minimum collateral damage against a variety of targets, including armored vehicles. The bomb also features a smart fuse. 
The guided weapon can engage multiple mobile targets from more than roughly 72.4 kilometers away. As a result, besides adding a stealth element to strikes, it increases the survivability of aircraft as it allows for release of munitions from long distances and therefore possibly outside the anti-aircraft umbrella of an adversary. It also has close-in and immediate target engagement capabilities. Its operational range is in the impressive 110 kilometers. The Stormbreaker Bomb Winged Weapon made its first control test flight from the United States Air Force F-15E fighter aircraft in April 2009. This weapon can be integrated on various 4th and 5th generation fighter aircraft, including the United States Air Force F-35A, F-A-22, and F-16 C and D, as well as the U.S. Navy's F-35C and F-A-18E and the U.S. Marine Corps' F-35B Joint Strike Fighter. It is also compatible with the bombers and remotely piloted aircraft. The original small diameter bomb was developed by Boeing and made for non-moving targets. The Raytheon version was developed successfully in 26 missions over 21 days. Raytheon was awarded the contract in August 2010. The contract is worth 450 million US dollars. The North American division of MBDA, the consolidation of Europe's missile companies, continues to produce the wings. In July 2018, Raytheon announced that the SDB-2, recently renamed Stormbreaker, had entered operational testing. The weapon had achieved a 90% success rate during developmental testing. The Air Force planned to declare the SDB-2 operational in September 2019, but a problem with the bomb's backup fin storage clips, other hardware and software issues, and the COVID-19 pandemic delayed its introduction. The Stormbreaker was approved for operational use on board the F-15E in September 2020. In November 2021, the 391st Fighter Squadron became the first operational unit to use the SDB-2 at the Utah Test and Training Range. Four F-15Es from the 366th Fighter Wing had the opportunity to employ this new capability as part of the Weapon System Evaluation Program. The evaluation involved multiple aircraft targeting and engaging four ground-based vehicles with four Stormbreakers. Despite all of the vehicles being moving targets and this being a relatively new munition, all four were successfully hit. According to Captain Kyle Scrap Hollifield, 391st Fighter Squadron, Chief of Weapons and Tactics, the integrated connectivity of the new bomb is one of its greatest assets, allowing it to be launched and then, if needed, redirected by the aircrew toward a new target while in transit. He loved that it can get on link referring to the communication system that is used by the F-15E and numerous other platforms' electronic systems and is the backbone of this capability. Stormbreaker is certified and fielded on the F-15E, and Raytheon is making progress integrating the weapon on all three variants of the F-35, with expectations of the work being finished for the A and B models in early 2023 and the C model later that year. In late November 2021, Raytheon Missiles and Defense and the U.S. Navy conducted the first weapon drop of a Stormbreaker smart weapon from a Marine Corps F-35B Lightning II. During the test, an F-35B naval aviator used the network-enabled weapon as a guided munition, employing the same mission scenario as one that would be used in combat from mission planning to release. The F-35B will continue developmental and operational testing to prove out safety and capability. It will be the third U.S. fighter to get the Stormbreaker Precision Guided Glide Bomb. The U.S. Navy is expected to declare initial operating capability for it on the F-A-18E Super Hornet after operational testing concludes later this year. In July 2022, the Norwegian Ministry of Defense confirmed it will buy the Stormbreaker bomb from the U.S. Air Force. The country has already begun to integrate the network-enabled munition on its F-35 fleet, and the head of Norway's F-35 project office said in a July 18th statement, the weapon will play an important role in helping the country begin initial operations for its Joint Strike Fighter fleet. Some of the innovations built into the Stormbreaker are naturally designed to help the Air Force stay in front of major power rivals, many of whom have spent years engineering technologies to counter U.S. weapons. Russia and China, for instance, 
are known to have studied U.S. weapon systems for years with the specific purpose of finding ways to destroy, disable, and counter them in war. It is part of a well-known cycle of great power military competition, wherein each power works vigorously to stay in front of potential rivals through various innovations, upgrades, and new technical applications. This scenario, therefore, requires a calculated and highly advanced response often resulting in weapons upgrades. Raytheon's technical adjustments and modernization initiatives with the Stormbreaker airdropped weapon, for instance, incorporate a few upgrades and countermeasure improvements designed to outmatch enemy attacks. What do you think of this impressive new weapon? Are there any other feats of engineering you'd like to see us cover? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to our channel to get our latest videos straight to your notifications. Thanks for watching.